by yourself. Where's Logan? He went to go find Anthony. And left you here alone. He's trying to protect me. Well, by leaving you with no way to defend yourself? In case you missed it, I am still alive. The sun ain't up yet. Well, I don't care if your father gives me until sunrise to live. Someone is probably going to find it by morning anyway. My father enjoys killing. That's what he does best. And once he gets started, he's almost impossible to stop. You know, your father enjoys killing. The police report says my mother was shot and killed during a robbery. Trevor made sure no one ever found out what really happened. Afterwards, my life got back to normal. In a way. I went to school, I played baseball, hockey. I even had friends. But they never came to the house. Over the years, my father became sicker. He shot one of his guards, a guy he trusted. He'd worked for my father for years over nothing. Then he started to threaten to kill me. When I was 15, my father pulled me out of school, so I ran away. I went to live with my mother's cousin in Ohio. A normal guy. An accountant with a wife and two kids. One night, my father showed up and killed all of them. Oh, my God. I never ran away again. Until now. And he came after me. I should have known. I should have never stopped and offered you a ride, but I swear to you, Lulu, you won't be the one that dies at sunrise. Been a prisoner your whole life? I'd be free if I killed him. If I walked into that room years ago and pulled the trigger, a lot of innocent people would still be alive. She pulled the trigger tonight? But even then, part of me was relieved when that gun wasn't loaded. Because no matter what my father does, is it right to kill someone for being insane? Does he ever come out of it? Is he ever normal? He used to be. Part of the time. Oh, who knows? If he'd gotten help years ago, but he's beyond help. My mother's in a mental hospital. She stares out a window all day and she doesn't talk, and the doctors don't think she can hear anything either. I don't know. But she recovered for a little while thanks to this experimental drug. It didn't last, but I can't help hoping that she'll come back. She'll be my mom, even if it's for a short time. So I understand. You'll always want your dad, but... Of course. What are you doing here? What happened to looking for your father, huh? If he... Did you stop my father? Did you save us all? Why, are you worried about your daddy? The plan was for you to protect Lulu. Yeah, well, I'll plan on it. So you can take off now, all right? Okay, look, I get that you guys hate each other, and, and I don't blame you, but I've learned a lot tonight, especially about who I can trust, and that's you, Logan, but that's also Johnny. So from now on, I'll, I'll play this your way. I'll do whatever you want. Lulu! Thank you, gods and goddesses. Uh, greetings for Lulu, and deepest gratitude that you're safe and well. Same to you. Where's Elizabeth? She's up at the house with Jason. Why? Spinelli, what's going on? There's news of the saddest nature. Did my dad have another heart attack? No. Uh, no, not, not as far as we know, but... Oh, was still... it lucky? No, fair one. Um... Emily died. Are you sure? J Jason came to get Elizabeth to help with Nicholas. What happened to her? According to Stone Cold, she was strangled. Nicholas loves, loved Emily so much. <laughs> Elizabeth told us their story. Emily was always so nice to me. Even when I was little, I can't remember a time that I didn't know her. Her and Nicholas and Lucky and Elizabeth, the best friends. How can Emily be gone? Hey, you want to go back to the main house? Huh? Okay. 
don't mean to be disrespectful, but can we all agree that taking Lulu anywhere leads to trouble? Uh, you, you can't blame Fair Lulu for being targeted by the uber-demented denizen of darkness and his legions of doom. Spinelli, could you give it a rest? Okay, huh? you know what? Either show the jackal some respect, or shut the hell up. Thank you, Nurse Nadine. You are most kind. You weren't to blame for what your father did. We both know that isn't true. <laughs>